Hi, I'm Charlie Krause from VPlex Product Marketing, and I'm here to talk about Extreme I.O. with VPlex. So, what is Extreme I.O.? Extreme I.O. is extremely fast, high-performance storage. It comes in the form of something called X-Brick, which is a, a, a small little box with a certain amount of storage in it. People tend to buy just enough flash storage like Extreme I.O. for their needs, and then over time, scale it out. So one of the issues we have when we scale and add extra X bricks is disruption to application access while you're doing that. So traditionally, if you wanted to add other X bricks in and expose that to the host, you'd have to disrupt application access to the storage to do that. But we have a great solution to this. If we put VPlex between the hosts and the storage, we can add additional X bricks in, all the while hosts have access to the storage, and then expand this and scale it out with not completely non-disruptively with VPlex. This is a great solution for this. All right now, let's look at a couple of other use cases for this. Because Extreme I/O is 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 expensive but fast, people tend to have applications mostly running on spinning disks so over here and Extreme I/O, and and use both storage as needed. So one of the issues you have is if you want to move data between the two types, you might it would disrupt access to it. So if we put VPlex here and cover both of these storage types, while applications are running, you can non-disruptively take certain data and applications and have them run on Extreme I.O. When you're done with your high-performance processing, move it back to disk storage, make room for other applications running in there in the high-performance storage. Now let's say this, uh, you have two sites for availability. So if I have a metro distance second site, I can put VPlex in that site as well and now give the same benefits across distance. So with the second site here, I have my high performance storage and when my applications are done running in that, I can move it non-disruptively back to disk storage at the other site, which is cheaper, lower performance storage, and again, make room for other workloads. So we have completely non-disruptive, high availability storage. And when you're done, you have continuous availability across the sites. So even if you lose one site, all your applications can keep running. So if Extreme I.O. is a very interesting concept to you, contact your local EMC rep or visit us on emc.com. Thank you.